Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 15 delicious freezer meals. I know that these bags in front of me probably don't look like much, but there are 15 delicious family dinners here. So I've actually made five recipes three times each, if that makes sense. And the reason that I've done this today is because some of you will know we're about to have a renovation work done. So we don't really know how long we're going to have a kitchen for. So my thinking is we can have these in the freezer and pull them out so that we can still have some nice home cooked meals but this is ideal if you're pregnant and you want to batch cook before you have a baby or you've just got a really busy week coming up or you just want to get organized this is such a good hack so I really hope you enjoy this video I hope it gives you some inspiration and if you do like it I would love you to consider subscribing I post loads of foodie content and meal prepping as well and I would love to have you as a viewer so with all that said, let's get into the freezer meals. Okay, so first off, I'm going to be making a turkey chili. And the reason that I'm starting with this one is because although it's quite easy to make, like you pretty much just chuck all the ingredients into a pot. It does need to simmer for a while. So while this is cooking, I'm then gonna get on and make some slow cooker dump bags. And I will be time stamping this video. So if you wanna skip any of the recipes or go back and forth, you can feel free to do that. And I'll link this recipe down below as well. This is everything you're gonna need for it. And as I said, it's pretty simple. So the first thing is we're going to brown the turkey mince. That's a lot of turkey mince, but I've actually doubled this recipe because my plan is to make it last for our family of five for three nights so it's quite a few portions but whenever you make chili it's worth making more than you need because it freezes so well and it makes such a good lunch or dinner and I know when we're in the midst of building work it will be so nice that I can just pull this out of the freezer microwave it maybe even make some microwavable rice and we can all have a healthy home-cooked dinner so while the turkey mince is browning I'm also gonna finally chop some onions in my little Von Chef chopper and I've also got this very lazy garlic which is like pre-chopped garlic so I'm going to put some of that in I'm doing about four teaspoons and then I'm also going to put in two chopped up onions I'm going to let that soften for about two minutes before adding in some pepper I've got yellow pepper and red pepper as well so I'm just going to chop it up into little pieces chuck that in and then you pretty much just add the rest of the ingredients so I'm going to drain and rinse our beans I'm adding in some kidney beans um, and black beans as well but you can also add in chickpeas or even baked beans if you literally had nothing else um, and then I'm also adding in some vegetable stock and then some brown sugar and I'm also gonna add in about three cans of chopped tomatoes. Then I'm also gonna add in some spice. So I'm adding some basil and some cayenne pepper as well. Of course, with chili, you can make it as spicy or as bland as you want it to be. We're having this with the kids, so I'm not gonna go too crazy in terms of spice and I'm kind of stirring as I go. Then I'm also gonna add in some oregano and some chili powder as well and some salt and that is pretty much it i'm now just going to give it a stir leave this to simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour or just until it's like nice and thick and a good texture so the chili is now simmering for about an hour. So while it is, I'm gonna make some dump bags. I love to use my slow cooker and dump bags is such a good hack. I've made a few videos about it in the past, but basically a dump bag is just all the raw ingredients that you need for a slow cooker recipe in a bag and then you freeze it. And then when you want to use it, you just take it out. I normally do it the night before so that it fully thaws. And then I put it on in the morning so we can have it for dinner that night. So the first dump bag that I'm gonna make is a beef stroganoff. I love beef in the slow cooker. I feel like it just really works well and it's quite a simple recipe. I'll link it down below because I'm not gonna say the portions because I'm making this for our family of five, um, but the initial recipe actually caters for eight people. So I'll link it if you wanna check it out. So I'm gonna make three beef stroganoffs now. So first off, I'm gonna add my lean stewing beef into the bag. So I'm just putting like a third of it in there. Then I'm also gonna add some portobello mushrooms that we've washed and cut up. Obviously this looks like a lot, but it does sort of cook down to nothing in the slow cooker. So just stick that in. Mm -hmm. 
I'm also gonna add in a little bit of chopped up garlic and then some onions as well, which I've also chopped up. Then I'm also gonna add a beef stock cube that I'm going to crumble. Some apple juice as well. And then I actually had some carrots to use up. This isn't in the recipe, but I'm just gonna add in some chopped up carrots. There we go, and that is your dump bag. So then what I tend to do is actually write on the bag how much water to add in when you put it into the slow cooker and then on what temperature and for how long as well. So there you have it, a nice family meal that I can stick into the slow cooker even if we don't have a kitchen and we tend to serve this on egg noodles or even mash and I could even get microwavable mash if we don't have a kitchen. So the next dump bag that I'm gonna make is chicken fajitas, such a family favorite, and fajitas or tacos work really well in a dump bag. You can make these up and either cook it in the slow cooker or I'm probably gonna cook it in the air fryer. Um, so I'll show you how to do it and I will link a recipe down below if you wanna check it out, but I have like modified it a tiny bit. Um, so first off, I'm just putting in some chicken breasts, which I have cut up into strips. Then I'm also going to add in two peppers, again, that I've cut up. I'll just stick that in. Then I'm also adding in an onion, which I have sort of sliced into moons, like this. And then I'm also going to add in a little bit of garlic. And then if you have a chicken fajita seasoning, you can just whack that in. I don't have one, so I'm just gonna kind of like make one myself by adding in a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of ground cumin, and a teaspoon of hot chili pepper. I won't go crazy because of the kids. And then finally, I'm also gonna add in some ground coriander as well and then just give all of that a bit of a shake in a second. And then I'm also gonna add in some lime and some honey as well. Yeah, and that is pretty much it. And then when I want to use this, I just need to take it out of the freezer and make sure it is completely thawed. And then you can either stick into the air fryer for 15 to 20 minutes, um, or you can put it into your slow cooker for about three hours on high. Or if you have more time, you can do it on like six hours on low. And they're delicious. Of course, you'll have to buy like the wraps and the cheese and the salad sour cream, but you can do that when you actually make them. So I've actually already written on this one here. Um, fajitas, so you know what it is, and then three hours on low, or you can air fry on 200, 15 to 20 minutes, and that is it. So I'm just gonna make this again, so I have three chicken fajitas in the freezer. By the time I had finished those two dump bags, my chili is all done, so I'm also gonna bag that up. And for our family of five, I do about four of these big ladle spoonfuls. So I'm gonna put that into the bags. Um, so I'll have three nights of chili ready to go in the freezer. And we like to serve this on either rice or even chips, or something that Matt and I actually really like it on is sweet potato chips. It sounds weird, but it's really delicious with like cheese on it or sour cream 
cream, something like that. Okay, so now that the chili is all done, I'm going to use the pot to make a big chicken curry and we're making the Patek recipe. We really like their korma paste because it's not spicy at all and our kids eat it. They really like it. I reckon chicken curry is probably Jackson's favorite food. So first off, I'm just softening some onions and then I'm also gonna add in some garlic and again, I'm using garlic paste and I'm also putting in some ginger paste. I just find it so easy to cook with that. Then I'm adding in about two korma paste pots because I'm making a big batch. If I was just making this for my family, I'd probably use one of these pots or even half of one of these pots. But then I've added that in and I'm also gonna put in some water and let that simmer for a minute before adding in some chopped up chicken breasts. You then want to seal the chicken breasts on the heat before adding in some coconut milk. And because I'm making a huge batch, I think I've used three cans of coconut milk. And then you basically just let that cook. We'll link this recipe down below if you're interested. And Matt always likes to add in some double cream as well because he thinks it tastes really nice, but you don't have to add that in. Um, that is pretty much it. So this curry can then be bagged up and put into the freezer and served with rice when we want it. So while the curry is simmering, I'm gonna go ahead and make my last dump bag. And for this one, we're making sloppy joes. This is a recipe we really Really like and you may have even seen it on my channel in the past but it's basically slow cooked pork that we pull and then we eat it in brioche buns with avocado and lime and it's really tasty so I'm gonna make that times three now um, so I'll be sure to link the recipe down below if you want to go ahead and check it out but first off we're just putting in some pork into the bag then we're gonna put in some tomato passata then I finally chopped two red onions, so I'm just gonna divide that into three. Then I'm also gonna add a glug of ketchup, about 100 ml. I'm just eyeballing it though. And then I'm gonna add four tablespoons of cider vinegar. And four tablespoons of, my favorite word, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> then, oh yeah, four tablespoons of brown sugar. This is easy to remember, it's like four, four, four. Okay, one. But this sauce is really tasty. It makes it so delicious and the kids eat it. One, two, three, four, Ooh, four. Then a teaspoon of oregano or oregano, however you say it. A teaspoon of smoked paprika in and a teaspoon of chipotle paste. Yeah, so again, when we're ready to eat this, I'll just take it out of the freezer, make sure it's fully thawed, and then you put it into your slow cooker for five hours on high, and then you kind of like pull it all apart, and we eat it in like brioche buns, and we'll probably have like some wedges or chips with it in the air fryer. So that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Kiki was going absolutely crazy while I was cooking all of this today. She really wants to eat it, don't you? Um, but thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you soon. Bye guys. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>